hello guys welcome to my page once again please if you are coming across my page i would like you to share my videos like comment and follow my page if you are not following me lately you get so many news where they come from my state which is Iba state yes Iba state is my state but my job where they did and i say all this news where they come out from Iba states since this administration starts now good good news i'm so much happy to say that on air good morning good afternoon good evening depending where you're watching the video from lately you get something will happen that the governor of my state Iba state he purchased car i wanted to empower the the security men for the security of Iba state and he purchased car outside nigeria i think and people started talking so many ways why you no go purchase from your own brother innocent from innocent motors and people started talking you know now nah, that kind of thing now the ceo of innocent motors who happens to be innocent himself has clarified the air has responded to people that have been talking against the governor of Iber state why he go outside go purchase car why he, why his own brother did they still produce that same car Innocent Moto has clarified the air and said that even the allies who you, you, you put the talk against since Hindu the, the, the variety way Hindu, now his best customer, even before he become the governor of other states. You know, say after those things, Alex Oat is still go purchase cars from Innocent Motors. I would like you to watch this particular video. We are innocent has responded to people that have been talking against Alex Oti on what he did and also give also to give the reasons why Alex Oti did what he did and also promise to establish some factories in Nigeria if the government really empowered him. As I'm watching this video, try to share it, like it, comment and follow my page if you are not following me. We move. We must get Nigeria at the right place. Try to be patronizing made in Nigeria. That's the only way we put Nigeria in the right place where it's supposed to be. We move. Vehicles manufacturing company Innocent Chukuma has faulted the media attacks on Abia State Governor Alex Soti for his recent purchase of 20 Toyota branded vans for security agencies in the state. Uh, he noted that his company's inability to supply the 20 vans at the urgent period of time may have informed the governor's option for another brand, which, according to Chukuma, uh, should, not end governor, should not end the governor's criticism. So joining us now uh, on the show is Innocent Chukuma of uh, Innocent Motors in Inewi, Anambra State. Uh, good to see you, Mr. Uh, Innocent. Blessed to have you this morning, Mr. Innocent Chukuma. But you are faulting the media this minute. But the media was just fighting for you because a lot of us have been on the bandwagon of buying only Nigeria-made cars to be able to grow the Naira. And when we saw some Toyota cars being purchased, irrespective of the fact that, yes, you might not be able to produce them at that point in time, why fault us for advocating for you? Morning, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, well, um, I will explain what I know to you. Alex, Alex, Alex Ochi is one of my is one of my best customer. Even before the governorship, he have, he have been using he, he have been using my vehicle for years. And and uh, yeah, we, uh, every time he's telling me that the performance of my vehicle is so good. Yeah, good. So this time he requested um, um, so many so many vehicles from me, both for the commissioners, both for the uh, every, everybody for the state, even for himself. Uh, yes, I'm producing all of them, and I told him that the pickup will be lady in the next 14 days. He said he need immediate uh, security pickup. Immediately he want to do it. I tell him my own can be only ready by 14 days time because I have so many other at hand. So finally, he, he said that he need immediate one. I said, okay, yeah, you can take anyone you see at hand, but my own will be ready in 14 days time. 
So buying a 20 vehicle outside the one he buy from me is no problem. He have buy enough. He buy for the commissioners. He buy for the lawmakers. He buy for himself. So uh, he buy 80 percent of his need from me. It's not bad that he he took some from uh, any other place to get sure the security is uh, working. He's one of my best customers. I'm not against what he did because, um, but I'm thanking the general public who let him know that the support made in Nigeria is good. First of all, I'm giving them thanks because what they are doing is for the future of our country. Uh, they are fighting for our country to survive. Wasting foreign exchange is the worst thing to happen to this nation. Let everybody know, not only buy anything, but anything made in Nigeria, let everybody put attention to buy made in Nigeria, to support Nigeria, to support Nigeria in anything they are doing. Because it's not good for you to be paying for other people's uh, salary. Why, no, why your own people cannot be paid? You see how uh, all the good brands we have in Nigeria is moving out of this country. Let us say something that can keep them busy so that they will be useful for this country. If all the brain move out of this country, what will we do? Our country will collapse. So let everybody support local med. That's the only way. And let more people to be encouraged to do the same thing I'm doing. If many everybody is doing the same thing we are doing, Nigeria will survive. We want Nigeria to survive. Yes. Beyond or aside yeah. from Abia State and the governor, um, Governor Alex Oti, how have other states across the nation supported made in Nigerian brands like your yourselves? Because recall that the president was criticized as well for not using made in Nigeria vehicle during his parade on inaugural day. And of course, um, I asked the question around production. What was the reason for you not being able to meet up with providing 20 vehicles to the governor? Well, we are doing manufacturing, we are not doing importation, and we manufacture according to the order. Uh, somebody who give you order of about 100 vehicles, uh, you told him he will get um, within 14 days, when he's producing 100 for you. I don't think um, the time is so much. So, uh, to, if you produce so much and keep, you will not see where to pack the vehicle. But when you have order like this, two weeks is not more. We, we produce and keep it ready so that we can give anybody who buy within two weeks. I don't think it's a bad time. But this is a security vehicle he needs immediate because you don't know how his state is. So that's why I encourage him, if he cannot wait for two weeks, he can take any one. But uh, if two weeks, my own is ready, because I'm producing about 200 and something vehicle online, but it will come out after two weeks. So I don't think, uh, we don't produce much and keep. Uh, we don't produce much and keep. If you keep, um, keep, then and son, when you supply to anybody, the person will say giving second hand vehicle. So it's not good. When we get things ready to be sure that anybody who buy will get it within two weeks, uh, that's what we are doing. Uh, Oh, okay. I just wanted to ask, so that means that you don't have capacity to have that kind of order, whether now or in the future, because what you're saying is that there's no capacity, and that's my the fancy, question I was my, asking you. No, no, no. It's an insult to say that we don't have capacity. My factory has capacity to produce according to the order we have, because the factory capacity is about uh, um, 30,000 units. 30,000 units in a year. We are, we are now up at 40% of our production capacity. We employ people according to the order we have. When we get more order, we employ more people. We can't need to take your energy and put there and we are not working. So when we get more order, we employ more people. So give us steady order, we have capacity, full capacity, 30,000 units in a year. So we haven't reached up to that capacity. So don't say that we don't have, we have capacity, give us more order. Any other you give me is two weeks. If you import it overseas, it will take you 90 days before you get it. So if you import any vehicle from overseas, it will take you four months, but I'm giving you two weeks to supply you. I don't think, uh, it's, uh, even though in overseas, nobody will give you a vehicle less than two weeks. Nobody will produce 1,000 vehicles and keep without selling it. When you are selling, you are producing according to the other. This man can need A, the other person can need B, so you will know you want to produce and keep. So what you will do is that get things ready. So when you get your order, you produce massively and give the people the supply, uh, the owner. Uh, right. So uh, don't say that uh, we don't have capacity. We have capacity. The important thing is for you to give us steady order so that we, uh, Nigerians are idle. So we can employ more people if there is order. Something we can produce in one week. We can produce it in one day when you employ more people. When you are sure, guarantee for the order, you employ more people. 
But if you are not sure, guarantee of the other, you cannot employ such because you cannot pay. Okay. Can you understand? Yeah, I'm sure she understands, and we all understand oh. you. Um, it's good to see you again. Um, the question yes. will be, in terms oh. of scaling at a very quick pace, you're still standing by your word that it's two weeks minimum. If a governor needs vehicles within... Minimum, two. two. Oh. Yes, go on. Your minimum. minimum. To if a car, if a set of cars the are needed, the government need the vehicle within within two days. Two days, and is he yeah, able to? Within two days, but others, I give them within one week. Okay, so is he able to get it within two days from other manufacturers, or is just buying off the shelf, as in like go to a garage and buy from there? Some some imported comp people that import vehicle can import and keep. We can't import. We can't produce and keep. We need production and selling. We can, somebody will import the vehicle to Nigeria, keep it to sell. It's different from manufacturing. We are not uh, trading, we are manufacturing. So you cannot compare the traders and the manufacturers. Manufacturer, manufacturer according to order. So you understand? But it must be faster than imported one. Uh, importing is four months, but only two weeks. I don't think uh, we are wrong given two weeks because we don't have, which place will you pack if you manufacture everything and keep on ground? Okay, so two weeks is exactly. enough. Anybody who so, needs vehicle, uh, order it within two weeks, get it. I think they are okay for it. Uh, so now, the question that I think my colleague is trying to ask, which I'm not sure you really got, is in terms of scaling, when you want to scale, it means you're able to have on ground when people need. So are you saying that what you do is only based on specification or you're scaling to the point where you have more than enough available for somebody that wants to buy tomorrow and you have okay. distributors, if I can finish that. Okay. You have distributors who are selling innocent cars and if I'm in Lagos and I need one tomorrow, I don't have to wait for two weeks. Can you scale to that level? Is, is this something you're considering? Okay, th thank you very much for this question. Number one, because of the situation of fuel situation in the country, we focus our attention on producing buses for masses. So we have buses in stock, that's what we are producing online. But I tell him that the pickup line will start in two weeks' time because you cannot produce uh, two of them in the same line. Uh, so what we give is that, like as of today, we are producing buses. In, uh, because of CNG, people need to travel, move around. So our production line now filled up with the buses. So we're giving that two weeks to have space for him. That's what we are doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a couple of things. So like today, buses is everywhere. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. You said your yearly capacity is 30,000. As we speak today. 30,000 units for... Are, are you yes. producing 30,000 units per year? Our... our, our our year, our year in capacity is 30,000 pieces a, a year. How many are you uh, producing now? It depends now? on the other we have. If you don't have other, no, so, uh, so we how, produce according to all the other we have. So how many others do you get in a year? We produce, the whole other, the whole other we have, we are doing the, as of this year, the other is more. Um, to this year, I'm sure we are going to produce up to 16,000. Okay, you are going to produce 16,000 this year. So that will also involve so we, electronic yes, vehicles. Where we are now. Mm. and CNG. So what are the level of orders what? coming in for CNG yes. and electronic Any... vehicle? Okay, in Nigeria today, Benin City are used to uh, CNG bus, uh, CNG vehicle. Most, be most people in Benin are using CNG. So if all Nigeria is using like that, uh, I don't think CNG will take over. Ele uh, electronic vehicle is very expensive now. We are doing it, but people are not giving the order because the price is higher until uh, uh, we start to producing the battery in Nigeria. If we are not producing battery in Nigeria, it is, it is very expensive for us. So that's why people are buying CNG because we have the CNG in Nigeria. Okay. So another question I also like to ask is, what can the government, apart from Alex oh. Oti, that is your regular customer, what can President Tinubu do to help you? Yes. I'm sure his advisors are listening now, the ministers are listening. Yes. Tell President Tinubu what you want from him. Yeah, yes. If, if our government 
wants vehicle to be very cheap in Nigeria, they have to give somebody like us support so we can establish uh, conversion centers nationwide everywhere so that people will be used to use a CNG now so that the, the price of their fuel they will not feel it because CNG is very cheap. It's good for everybody. But we have to make initial investment before we can localize it to be cheap. Mm. Okay, so you what just you want now, support from him. Converting to CNG is not. Is it, yes, we want support for him so that we can open stations in quarters of this country, so that uh, it will be easy for people to convert their motor without a stretch. If they bring like three hundred thousand, they can convert. They can convert three hundred thousand. They can convert. But now, if they convert now, it will cost them more. They spend up to one million to convert to CNG. So, but if we do initial investment to localize it here. The price will come down to three hundred thousand, and uh, right. you understand. So, if government can support, can right. give the support to us to localize it here. Okay, and that's the way the CNG will be very cheap for everybody. All right, thank you for noting that. Beyond that, I'd asked a question earlier with regards to, and yeah. if I spoke about it now, but I'm not sure you responded to that um, directly. Beyond Abia State right. and Governor Alex Oti. Mm. Do you enjoy support in terms of patronage from mm. other government officials? For instance, the National Assembly had put in a budget to buy cars for their members. Yes. Is this something that you've been approached yes. in terms of helping I, to, so hold on a second, sir, to support your business? The second part of that question for me then would be um, in terms of job creation. Because your organization, Made in Nigeria, when you open, um, you know, when you expand your manufacturing um, capacities, then you're able to employ more Nigerians. How can this, you know, make a case for that? That's what I was hoping to do with the last question I'd asked in terms of support for expansion so that you can have more Nigerians working for you and create jobs for people. Thank you very much. I believe that... Uh President Tunubu is somebody who has an experience, who can manage any situation. I still believe that uh, after this interview, he will really understand that we are going to help people to make sure that people convert their vehicle and by employing more people. Because all these zones I want to open, establish, is to employ more people that such. And it will, a lot of Nigeria will be employed. And I have a technical school where I'm training them on such job. And we have Innocent Kiala Academy. I'm training about 200 um, um, boys now to keep them busy about CNG. So with that training I'm giving them, I use them to establish the workshop all over this country. And with that, it's a lot of things. Uh, many people will, will benefit because um, what we are doing is to make sure that people are not stranded. Because uh, like in, in our area, if you didn't keep these boys busy, they will enter bush and start become problem to us. So we are trying our best to keep people busy. So and the same thing will happen everywhere. Because when these boys are less busy, they will try to think something that is not correct. So we are training them to be, keep them busy in the factory. Motor factory is a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of people can be employed. So, uh, but you know, we do as a private capacity, but if government gives some support in certain area, I didn't say that government is not giving support. They are giving support before we reach this, because I cannot, without a Bank of Industry and National Automotive Council, there's nothing like anything. Bank of Industry and National Automotive Council is the people that give me the power that I'm doing all this thing I'm doing. So it's because, it's because of government understand. Because if you are going to, uh, um, uh, get money from any other source in Nigeria today, it cannot be available. But uh, with the Bank of Industry and National Automatic Council, uh, the factory is going well. And um, uh, my factory, I want to establish something like that now in Lagos. I'm doing one in Lagos. And I'm doing another one in somewhere north so that uh, we can be able to capture Nigerian problem in vehicle. Mm. Uh, Mr. Chukuma. I appreciate the work that you do, yeah. and I have seen your vehicles, and I can testify personally that they are very, very good. They're super good. Uh, and I'm always an advocate of Nigerian companies doing excellent job. 
Now, help us understand, if we have the new ministers coming into office from next week, if they need to hear proposals, what would you be saying to them in terms of your capacity to scale and make it such that you can actually hit a target of that 30,000 pieces and exceed it within the next year or two. And that will give, if you translate into number of people that you will be employing, what would it translate into? So that there is an understanding of what this means for Nigeria when we say that we want to reduce unemployment, we want to improve on the economy, and we want to localize uh, our car manufacturing. Uh, um, I'm ready to employ more people. As of today, I have 7,300 in my establishment. Nigeria working with me. And um, when I started this uh, motor factory, I have 60 foreigners to work with me. But today, all the work is working by Nigerians. Yeah, I, I, as of today. So if I have some support from our government, I'm assuring Nigeria that I'm going to employ another 12,000 so that we can feed the capacity of the factory. Okay. Because I need more 12,000 people. If we, get, if we get support from our government and uh, we're going to employ 12,000 Nigerians more. Okay. If I'm going to open some areas more, develop it, so all Nigerians can benefit from that. Mm. Okay. Mr. Anderson, as we start to wrap things up, I know you used to have a contract with the government as regards uh, uh, creating parts for planes, jets, fighter jets and the likes with the military. And you also used to supply the military with some uh, gear. Do you still do that contract? Fabricating parts for jets and things like that. I know you were doing yes, that contract. Is that contract still on? Yes, it's, it's still on. When, yeah, it's still on when they need it. It is not something that is not a food that they eat. It is when they're required of it, they will come and make it for them. So I'm still doing it for okay, them. Okay, so you're still a contractor to the military. It. It's, something, it's not something they will be needing every day. Yes, I'm still their contractor. Mm. All right, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you, uh, Mr. Chukuma, Innocent, uh, Innocent Chukuma, this morning for your time. And God bless Nigeria. And thank you for all you do for Nigeria. Go out there and support Pradi Nigeria Made Products.